All right, I did another paint pour, and I was kind of upset with the way it came out, I guess you would say. I did have a little find here I wanted to share with you guys. I found this pen on eBay. Um, I've seen people list it for over $100. I've seen it for actually $150 plus a couple times on eBay. Uh, and finally, I seen one come up for auction. I says, well, let me... Uh, let me put a bid in on it and I won. I got it for a dollar. Nobody else bid on it because the auction ended at the wrong time. It was like two or three in the morning. People have to learn when they do eBay auctions, end them at prime time, end them at night. All right, 6, 7 p.m., something like that. Anyway, some of you guys may be collectors and it really doesn't matter what you collect. There's a certain point when that collection, you're gonna become a professional buyer for your collection, right? Uh, it, it, essentially, you're going to be scouring anywhere for the deal for whatever it is you collect, right? And that's where I'm at now. I'm not necessarily collecting pens, but I've been trying out different pens and been reviewing pens here for my YouTube channel. A collection has naturally started forming. And anytime I get into collecting, I become what's today modern couponer, I guess you could say. You know, I'm looking for that deal. This here, I purchased on eBay and I got lucky. It was in an auction format. What I like to do is when I go on eBay, there's the kitty cat here. When I go on eBay, I like to uh, look at the auctions, look at uh, ones ending soonest. And then I like to go to buy it now and then filter out the newly listed ones. And that's when I'm most likely going to find the very best deals. So I was up one night looking, 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 trying to find some sort of pen maybe I can review and I would like to add to my art collection for future use. And I came across this pen here and we're going to check it out because it's pretty old. This pen backslash mechanical pencil was made in the 1950s. This company no longer makes it anymore. And it's an early version of the selector pen slash pencil where you have different choices all in one pen. You'll see uh, like nurses use pens like this a lot with the different colors. Well, this is it, but back in the 1950s. This specific pen here had no reserve and there was only one bid on it and that was my bid, which was $1.00. Now, when I looked it up, I saw that there were others selling this uh, four-way mechanical uh, wonder for minimal $100. So I'm going for what people was selling it for on eBay, I'll be honest, okay, by the name of the title, the $1 pen for, or, or the $100 pen for $1, I'll be honest, it's not for what it has sold for, that's not the estimate of the value, the estimate of the value is what people are selling it for. You know, the value of it is what somebody's willing to pay. Now when I purchased this, it says does not work, um, which is very true, the pen does not work. But in all reality, this does work. It's actually in great condition. All the parts here, everything's together. I couldn't be more happy with it. We're gonna take a little bit closer look here. We'll go over from the pen, we'll start at the top and work our way down to the four different uh, options we have in the pen. Okay, we come right down in here and Puma's with us and she wants to come right down in here with us. Puma, you're purring so awfully loud. I love my animals and I'm going to let her stay because this house and studio and everything is just as much hers as it is mine. Right, if we look at the top of the pen here, we have some inscription. It says Norma and then P-A-T-U-S-A. The top pops off. Underneath the top exposes the eraser unit, just like most mechanical pens. This eraser unit does pop out. You can see that. You could replace the eraser in it if you need to put a new one in there. Uh, the eraser, I would say, yeah, it's pretty hard. Um, it's not completely complete hard, but it is pretty hard. I was lucky when I opened it up. I did find some extra leads. We have green, we have red, we have blue, and we have the original lead. Just the your standard 
uh, plain graphite. Now one thing uh, I did notice that not every lead color option was in here. So let's see, we have the pen selection right here. We slide this one down and you'll see the pen comes out the tip. Now this, uh, I've taken out the the roller ball bearing still rolls. It's the, the ink is empty. Before I did uh, this YouTube video, I was thinking you know, I could fill this up, make this a great video, and show you guys. Wow, look, the pen works. Oh my God, it writes uh, by just refilling it with uh, ink. But I was afraid that I was really going to like screw something up or whatever, and I wasn't going to be able to show you guys this great and wonderful pen before I did that. So instead of me screwing things up before I could show it to you, I'm going to show you guys the pen. Big deal, it doesn't work. Take my word for it. We're going to get this puppy working. Maybe I'll do an update video about it. This is way too nice of a, a collector's piece for somebody not to get that working. I mean, to have a working 1950s four-way Norma pen, what an awesome thing to have. So I will work on that. Let's retract the pen. Let's see what else we have in here. We slide the next one out and voila we get a tip here that comes out and what you do is you twist this top and it allows for that lead to come out the tip let's see if we can write with it oh we have the blue in there you can see we wrote Norma this is lead from 1950 it's a blue color still looks beautiful writes great I could twist this put the lead back inside to protect it right and then we'll slide this selection back in its cradle and we'll pick the next one to see what's in this one we slide that one up let's reveal a little bit of lead we see it is your traditional lead just in the regular graphite so far we have two of the three are working let's push that final third one up there let's open up some lead and what do we have we have a beautiful red color from 1950 still looks fresh still looks red pen pencil there it is the four-way norma mechanical pen pencil which still works today value at approximately 100 dollars even though it's old even though it's used even though it's from 1950 can easily see somebody paying at least a hundred dollars for this in such a beautiful condition it it really it was stored away somewhere probably at a desk in the home it was taken care of when it was used you can see it's got very 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 minor scratching it has scratching and has wear to it but all in all I mean it still slides wonderful it still looks wonderful it all still comes apart real easy we're not breaking anything and best of all it still works as you can see here three out of the four slides we were able to use it I was able to write with it the lead still looks like it did the very first day when it came out of the factory guys stay vigilant if you're a collector shop 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 if you can try to at least look at the auctions that will be ending hit watch if there's something that you really think you could get and you really want set your alarm clock get up early in the morning hit that auction bet on it you never know nobody else might be around to go against your bid and you might win i definitely won today i began a new pen backslash pencil collection and this is one of my first awesome additions to that I couldn't be happier getting it for one dollar and four cents total after it was all said and done I think I paid four dollars with shipping to my door 
I mean, I, look, I cannot complain. I got a little bit of 50s in my hand. It's going to go up on my desk. And anytime I need a beautiful blue or red colored pencil that I need to write with, I'm probably going to bust this out. I'm probably going to use this. It's not going to just be there for looks. If you guys have any suggestions of anything you'd like to see, like for me to try out, get my opinion about, you know how to get a hold of me. That's all I got for today. Joe Kaiser, over and out. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Pens and pencils. Down, please. The test is over. Relax. Take a deep, fresh breath of air. And I'll get back to you about your failure. Because I know you failed. You all look like you were miserable today. Don't come back to my classroom, actually.